something different today. Messing with uh, different types of fire starting. And I have uh, my old mini mag light, which I converted into a fire piston, uh, which I can't seem to get to work. But I'm going to try and take the lens. I believe this is called a parabolic lens. Our cloth and I keep it in the cap there. Hopefully the sun will cooperate with me today. We've had a lot of rain and kind of breaking up now but the sun keeps going behind the clouds and it's pretty windy like I need to find a way to secure that char cloth down inside there here on a really windy cloudy day trying to use a parabolic lens to start a fire. I'm using the lens out of my mini mag light. This is your standard size mini mag light. That's what I usually carry in the field so I figured that'd be a good example. I have a large mag light which would probably do a better job but I want to use something that I typically carry when I'm out. And the mini mag light is what I typically carry. So hopefully the sun's getting ready to pop out again and uh, we'll see if this works. I have a little bitty piece of chaga in the center there. Let's see if this sunlight will ignite it using the parabolic lens. It's real windy today. It's kind of tough keeping everything in place. Here comes the sun. It's kind of hard to know. Oh yeah, look at there. It's already smoking. The sun just came out and it's already smoking. Wow, I can't believe that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can get this into a tinder bundle and blow it to flame. And my itty bitty piece of chaga just burned right up before I had a chance to uh, blow it to flame. So let's try this again. I'm trying to stick as much to real conditions as possible and avoid staging this too much. Uh, the wind is a disadvantage right now because it's hard for me to keep my tinder nest together. But uh, let me uh, shut this video off and I'll prepare another piece of chaga and give it another go. It's a real windy day and the sun keeps going behind the clouds. Um, I've already made this ignite a piece of chaga tinder fungus. Uh, as soon as the sun popped out it almost immediately ignited the tinder fungus but the piece of tinder fungus I used was so small 
it burned up before I had a chance to uh, blow it to flame. So I'm going to give it another try here with a larger piece of tinder fungus. Hopefully the sun will stay out long enough. I'm trying to compare this to a real world scenario where I might be without fire and the only thing I have on hand is my mag light and it's real windy it just rained uh, we've just had two days of full rain uh, the air feels dry now though and the sun keeps going behind the clouds I'm gonna put a smaller piece in there. It's it's harder to know the direct angle of the sun. With the parabolic lens versus a magnifying glass. If you get it right, it happens almost instantaneously, so I know this isn't, it isn't right. So I'm going to go with a much smaller piece of chaga again, one that will fit right down in the very center. Okay, now the sun has moved behind the trees. So I'm going to set up again in a more open area and see if I can get this done. Seems I can only fit a small little piece of tinder down in the center of there to get the most effect from the sun's rays. So I went ahead and stuck some char cloth in my tinder nest to hopefully extend that tinder if I do get it ignited. I've already had this char cloth ignited once, but the uh, piece was so small that it burned up before I could really get it in a nest and blow it to flame. There we go. It's hard to know what angle to uh, hold it at for the sun. Yeah, that little piece of tinder fungus burned right up before I could get it in the nest. Let me try this again. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it'll work. Yeah, you gotta get the angle of the sun just right. Try and get this piece in here before it actually burns up. Okay, now I've got my char cloth ignited. See if I can get this to flame. Sort of putting myself at a disadvantage trying to film this. 
I think I could have already had it going if it wasn't for trying to get it on camera. let the wind help me. It's pretty well ignited. I have fire. It's a matter of holding it together. These are some damp sticks. I couldn't find any dry sticks in in the yard close by. I just wanted to get something to put on there to actually bring it to flame and show that using a parabolic lens from a mini mag light on a cloudy day when the sun pops out only for brief seconds, you can make fire. Pretty cool. It's good to know. I think this is a real world situation too. I carry a mag light with me uh, all the time really. And I usually don't carry a real big mag light. Obviously my big mag light would have uh, ignited a larger piece of tinder. But since I did have my tinder box with a few different types of tinders available, I was able to put a very small piece of tinder fungus in the very center of this lens, ignite it, transfer it to a piece of char cloth, which was in my tinder nest made of cedar bark, and get fire. It's all about using what you have on hand. You can never be too prepared, I suppose. You know, a lot of this stuff seems gimmicky and, uh, you know, not real world applicable, but I think this one is very much applica applicable in the real world. I could easily find myself in the woods and my lighter fail and maybe I lost my fire steel on the way in and now I have no way to build fire well I still have my mag light and a parabolic lens and I've used this now I think three or four times to get an ember and it's still functional each time I used it except for the last time I took my cotton shirt and wiped it out real good to shine it up and I tried not to let my tinder sit in there too long to melt it or damage it. And I have fire. So there you go. Making fire with a mag light. Parabolic lens.